Hello, champions in the fairy. It is I, your friend, the Mad Hatter, okay? Uh, I did want to uh, do a little bit of an update, an exciting update on uh, some Flipboard business, okay? We are still full steam ahead. Again, Flipboard made, get, making sure that uh, uh, everything looks nice and pretty. Uh, I believe that in close to a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks, we are finally going into production. We're going to get our final numbers of what we have for Flipboard, uh, Flaker, any alternates of Flipboard, and we're going to go, go, go. After that, uh, the, 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 the window is closed to get any kind of Flipboard. So if you do want them, even think that you want them, uh, get them in the backer kit. Uh, you can get them on a Big Bad Toy Store as well. But the purpose of this video was I wanted to show some of our card art, okay? Uh, if you know or you don't know, I had this dream that every uh, variant of Flipboard and Flaker himself can have their own uh, card art, okay? A lot of times when you, you, you get a variant, uh, let's say you get a variant of like He-Man, you turn it around, it's still got like that same He-Man art. Um, I wanted something where it's like, the card art can kind of like reflect who's in uh, the package. And I wanted that to be done by like a different artist every time just to kind of vary things. I just thought it'd be fun to see like, you know, um, different approaches on Flipboard and also see if you guys like that moving forward. So um, I, I have most of the card art here. The only thing that's missing is the card art for the bots, but I have all the Flipboard uh, card art and uh, the artist as well. So I wanted just to go through them uh, real quick. So uh, the first card art is uh, this one right here, uh, Matt Ferguson. And this is for Flipboard, like the primary uh, Flipboard. So the meat and potatoes, the standard Flipboard will have art by Matt Ferguson. And this is Flipboard just directly in his element, okay? He's here moving through this mysterious night toy aisle. Then he's like about to be attacked by Stocky, uh, the, the vendor, and then he zaps him and he freezes him with the staff of FOMO. And then he just starts flipping and putting the stuff into his backpack. One of the things in his backpack is the piss tank, okay? And uh, you have you have Katcha uh, just on the side, just kind of watching him. So I just thought, this is so cool. This idea just kind of represents, what is Flipboard about? Give me one image just to let me know what this character is about. So you have that. Matt, I thought, did a great job uh, on this. Uh, moving to the next one is a Stealth Flipboard. So this is the art for Stealth Flipboard, uh, Flipboard with a stealth outfit. And uh, this is by uh, Ray Robinson right here. <laughs> it's another piece of art that I just love. I love all these, okay? So I'm just going to keep saying that I love them. But basically what this is, is you got this line of people waiting for something. Maybe they're waiting for action figures. Maybe they're waiting for some kind of collectible. But in the middle right there is you got Flipboard and he's activating his stealth suit and he's just sneaking into line, just like a dirty flipper, okay? Just sneaking into that line and then boop, he shows up. He's like, wait a minute, I was here in line the whole time. And he gets the collectibles, okay? These flippers... Very, very sneaky, and this, I don't know, to me, just <laughs> just him, just him tiptoeing, it just uh, just made me giddy when I when I saw this. And then I also love how uh, uh, all the backgrounds on these are just kind of like mysterious uh, brushes of pink and blue uh, fantasy kind of art. So uh, that's uh, Ray. I thought he did a great job. The next one is Flipboard Gold, okay? And the concept is, uh, it's by Quentin uh, uh, Bedwell, and the concept is basically uh, he becomes... Uh, Flipboard Gold, and when he turns gold, he's impenetrable to all melee attacks and also most magic attacks. A lot of people don't know that. They think he's just impenetrable to the melee attacks. There's a lot of magic there, too. Uh, the, the problem is it does suck up his gold uh, uh, fun, so he can't have that form for, for long. But uh, you have him right here, and he goes completely gold, and he's just getting attacked by everybody because he just grabbed the butt, like, you just grabbed, like, like the last like G.I. Joe's or something or whatever's in that world. And then everybody's just like, hey, motherfucker. And they're just trying to like uh, knock him down, but they can't. Arrow's just breaking. And uh, <laughs> you got everybody trying their best to take down, take down our guy Flipboard, but they can't, okay? He's just, he's just too mighty in his gold form. So very, very proud of that one. Uh, I think Quinton did a great job. Uh, the next one right here is Glow in the Dark uh, Flipboard. And this one is by uh, Hugh uh, Rookwood. And uh, basically what this is, is sometimes Flipboard has to go into caves to get collectibles, okay? And in these caves, there's some dangerous animals. In this case, there are these things called Flip Beetles, who just, they just hoard collectibles. But Flipboard's going to go in and uh, go in there and get them, and he does that by activate, activating his glow-in-the-dark powers. Because those Flip Bugs, 
They don't like that. Or Flip Beatles, whatever they're called. They don't like that glow-in-the-dark power. So this is him just all glow-in-the-dark. And they're just kind of like, what the fuck? And, and he's just like fighting them off in the caves. I, I, I just thought, uh, again, just a, a great way just to execute it. I love the colors. I love the shine of the glow-in-the-dark and how it reflects on the bottom of the cave. And uh, 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 spectacular card. By the way, I want these eventually also to be like... To be able to have these as cards okay so uh maybe that's something we can look into uh as well then you got customize your dream okay customize your dream by vince chu now customize your dream um is uh, an unpainted flipboard okay sometimes there are people they just want their stuff unpainted either they want to display it that way or they want to paint it themselves but i thought wouldn't it be fun to give uh unpainted figures kind of like a storyline too and uh, I got that with the help of Mr. Vince Chu here, and he did a great job. And basically what's happening here is Flipboard is having all of his color extracted by this evil wizard guy, okay? And uh, I think he just did a phenomenal job, okay? This just looks like, it, it's, it's just, it's so, it's so heavy metal, uh, uh, th th this piece of art. And I just love the concept of like, he had color in him, and the guy just pulls it out, and he's just like, no! And so uh, uh, this... This kind of represents that. So even the customizer dream has its own sort of storyline and its own art to go along uh, with it. And then lastly, Flaker. This was done by Mr. Bill Couture. And man, this is, uh, I, I just love this. Basically what's happening here is uh, Flipboar is in the aisles. Tarjay Marketplace is looking for the thing to flip. He's got the staff of FOMO to guide him. And then we're just waiting in the wings with his brass knuckles, the flip life brass knuckles. You got Flaker and Flaker's going to, it's going to be a bad time. If, if you saw this picture like, you know, seven seconds from now, it's just, it might be just blood and guts everywhere. Okay. I just love it. Flaker with his crazy face, his tongue is out. It's about to start a rumble. And uh, what says Flaker more than that? He's the, the fucking lazy asshole killer robot after all. And the colors and just the fact that you can see space in the background, just this intergalactic target, Tarjay, sorry, Tarjay marketplace, I just think is great. So that's it. Um, uh, just quick uh, card art uh, update as we get these together. I also have some comic book stuff that I'm going to show because we're getting that together too. And then hopefully um, maybe we can do one last update um uh, well not one last update but one more update with some of the production stuff as well but i wanted to give everybody this update because i'm just so proud of this art i just love it i love just getting these different artists to do this and uh flipboard card art update uh put the link in the description to the backer kit uh to big bad toy store again uh this is not a fomo thing but in about a week to two weeks is when we close off just to get our numbers into production so if you want one if you ever wanted one and you don't want to pay crazy ebay prices you know what you got to do that's it flip or update let me know what you guys think i would love some feedback on this very very proud of this and uh that is all bye bye